Number 10. With the introduction of Phoenix, a sixth-generation general-purpose robot, Phoenix Sanctuary I, a company striving to develop the first human-like intelligence in general-purpose robots, announced a significant advancement. Phoenix is the first humanoid general-purpose robot in the world. It is driven by Carbon, a cutting-edge artificial intelligence control system that gives Phoenix human-like intelligence and allows it to do a variety of tasks to assist address the labor issues that many organizations face today. Sanctuary has demonstrated that its technology can already accomplish hundreds of jobs that clients from over a dozen different industries have highlighted. The humanoid form is a great shape for a robot that is intended to replace as many human activities as possible. Even though it isn't the most efficient shape for a useful robot, Phoenix has been given a bipedal shape because the current world is mostly made for creatures who are around a specific height, have five fingers on each hand, and have opposable thumbs. Number 9. Astro Charlie Trickler, who was Amazon's vice president of product almost two years ago, presented the concept for Astro, the company's initial attempt at a smart home robot. Astro's ambition is still strong two years later, as evidenced by the device's sale as part of the company's Day One Editions line of items which are only available to customers who receive special invitations. This category is usually reserved by Amazon for its most innovative products, such the Astro or the Ring Always Home Cam. Astro is billed as a complete home companion that provides a wide range of features, from learning daily routines and assisting with housework reminders to letting customers monitor a live feed of their home while they're away. Crucially, the gadget will use cutting-edge learning algorithms to identify known users negotiate challenging home environments, and blend in with the family. Notably, there are countless possible uses for Astro in the medical field. Most significantly, Amazon is integrating the gadget with Alexa together, the business's remote caregiving service, which enables families to stay connected and offer support around the clock. Number 8. Poppy Poppy Humanoid is a 3D-printed, open-source humanoid robot. Its versatility makes it ideal for a broad range of applications and experiments in research and education. The Poppy Project's whole body of technological development work is open source licensed and available for free. With a total weight of 3.5 kilograms and a size of 83 centimeters, it is packaged elegantly. Ubuntu 14.0 FAR and Android XU4 are incorporated in it. It has an HD camera, a wide field of view, and 25 actuators. It can be freely used and customized by anybody, including scientists, educators, developers, and artists. It is built on sophisticated robotic actuators and stylish 3D printed parts. The following characteristics are the typical ones and can be readily updated or customized to match unique demands, as the robot is designed to be fully hackable. Number 7. The Michaela Souza is a fictitious American character, singer, and social media star that was created by Trevor McFedries and Sarah Deku. She is also referred to as Little Michaela and is generously known by her stage name Michaela. The persona was developed with the background of a 19-year-old girl who is Brazilian-American. The persona is a teenage downy, California-based Instagram model. She posted on Instagram for the first time on April 23, 2016. It goes along with a made-up story that shows Michaela as a model and CGI figure that battles other digital products while promoting a range of brands, mostly in the fashion industry. Michaela has endorsed products for high-end and streetwear labels, including Prada and Calvin Klein. In just two years, the account gained over a million followers. During Milan Fashion Week in February 2018, the persona participated in an Instagram takeover for Prada. She worked with Bella Hadid on an animated Calvin Klein ad on May 16, in addition to a project for Samsung. Number 6. Adrian Kohler is the eccentric brain of universal worker Giant Eye, which functions similarly to a robotics lab run by him. He is in charge of the Giant AI company, which develops humanoid robots capable of doing both new and old tasks for humans on production lines. Kozla Ventures and Bill Gates have invested in Giant, in his ideal scenario, artificial intelligence, AI creates a novel form of operating system that learns more quickly than most people could ever dream. It picks up new skills quickly enough that you only need to demonstrate them to it a few times before it can perform the task on its own. The universal worker's action is unique, resembling the motion of an entirely new animal because it appears to be powered by tendons. It has some spring to it. For a conventional robot, this would not be feasible. 
but the AI control handles things and makes things work out, just like it would with a human. Dr. Kohler asserts that the robot's ability to be both incredibly light and agile, as well as significantly less expensive than conventional robots, is largely due to the utilization of this kind of tendon system. Number 5. MAMHRP4C A Humanoid Robot with a Feminine Appearance The HRP4C, also known as MIM, was developed by the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, a research center located in Japan. With the battery pack installed, MIM weighs 43 kilograms and stands 158 centimeters tall. She has the build of a typical young Japanese woman with a realistic head and face. She has 30 body motors for movement and an additional eight for facial emotions, allowing her to move like a human. MAM is also able to identify background noise and respond to voice using speech recognition software. With the Vocaloid Vocal Synthesizer, MIM can also sing. The Open Robotics Platform, which includes OpenRTM AIST and OpenHRP3, served as the foundation for the development of the robot's operating software. AIST produced a video showcasing the 2011 enhancements to MIM's human-like walking ability, which have been dubbed Super Realistic. Applications for the HRP4C could include a human simulator for device evaluation and the entertainment sector. Number 4. Samantha is an artificial intelligence sexual robot that picks up new skills from its host. It can communicate and even work with Alexa to assist with home tasks. The purpose of the carnal robot's synthetic neural system and unique physiological mind is to improve human experiences. Additionally, Samantha includes a family mode that enables non-carnal communication with family members and children. Number 3. Robot Not Dial, a skilled humanoid robot created at NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, is called a Robotronaut. Its goal is to construct tools that will enable people to work and explore space. Robotics will increase human capacity for building and exploration, whether they operate alongside humans or go where human safety is too risky. The capacity to utilize one's hand to perform tasks is known as dexterous manipulation, and it is essential to that endeavor. It's supposed to travel where no man has gone before with it. Number 2. Erica is a sophisticated android created as a platform for research on human-robot interaction. It can portray a range of facial emotions, has a voice synthesized to sound like a human, and understands normal language. It is being taught how to laugh by researchers at Kyoto University in Japan in reaction to human laughter. She has the ability to recognize when someone is laughing, judge when it's suitable to laugh back, and decide whether to respond with a quiet chuckle or a louder giggle. You might question, why is it significant? The domestic robot market is expected to grow to $19 billion by 2027, bringing in more sophisticated, compassionate robots. For example, LEQ was created to address loneliness in the elderly, and its developers all assert that it can help patients who are suffering from dementia or Alzheimer's. Number 1. The Desta Moment A robot pop musician named after a well-known figure from Othello, with pink hair to complete her image. Her developer has now disclosed that the robot's artificial intelligence even allows her to compose her own lyrics. Hanson Robotics created Desdemona's look, while Ben Gortzel, an ad researcher, provided her software. The CEO and creator of SingularityNet, the company that produced Sophia, the first robot citizen in history, is Dr. Ben Gortzel. I am not planning ahead, 